viewers, James Com, the guy on the bike, back for another half-assed report. I'm gonna pop in here at Stephen Harvey Fine Arts Projects. And we're gonna take a little walkthrough of an exhibition by Eugenia Barras. Well, I've known Yevgenia for three or four years, and uh, I think the first time I met her was at a project she was involved with out in Bushwick called the uh, Regina Rex. And then I bumped into uh, Yevgenia again at a little uh, migrating gallery called the Bull and Ram that was also out at 1717 Troutman. And uh, I think maybe she had some pieces in a show out there that I was intrigued with. But I, uh, I wanted to come in here and take a look because I think in a lot of ways uh, Eugenia is doing some very interesting stuff. This piece is untitled, oil on canvas, 20 by 16 inches. Now, Eugenia does a lot of kind of construction, finds things, puts them together, somehow melds them into the paintings. Uh, this one we've got a, a frame that's got yarn wrapped around and then another canvas kind of stuck in the middle. And uh, just from an abstract composition I kind of like the way that she's got this section here with the uh, multicolored dots sort of fading out into the more white and thicker painted area. Well, I was just talking to Steve Harvey, the uh, proprietor here, and uh, he was talking about how Eugenia kind of likes to riff on uh, various art history periods, so he was saying this kind of made him think of a clay. But again, I think that uh, Eugenia's kind of uh, sculptural or uh, assemblage sensibility is a little different. This piece caught my eye and uh, gosh look there's a red dot. Made me think of the French uh, material painter Fautrier who was a uh, I guess a contemporary of Jean du Buffet maybe a little earlier. And uh, I like the way that she's uh, she's done these just light kind of thin glazes over the thick chunky pieces and the frame is nice. This may be my favorite piece in the show. Untitled, oil on canvas, 18 by 22 inches. Now I don't know how long she spends working on these but uh, there's a sense of uh, the time passing, the, uh, the withering of the paint, the puckering of the oil paint. Now, I think I might have seen this piece or one similar to this out in uh, Brooklyn at a show. This has got uh, tin foil in there. Uh, one of the other things I mentioned to Stephen is that, uh, in a certain way, I think this work relates to somebody like Peter Atchison, who is kind of bringing a uh, spiritual materialism, almost a kind of a shamanistic uh, approach to the work. Untitled 16 by 20 inches. I like this coloristically too. I think the factor is not as uh, built up, but uh, some nice color things going on there. So 18 by 20. Well, we saw a show last week, and Ross Blechner was doing a lot of paintings that were about 18 inches so it seems like there's a kind of a mood for 
small scale paintings these days in New York. And uh, I kind of like the, uh, there's a realistic reference there, almost like a uh, drapery or a curtain, but it's done very abstractly. Let's look, let's see what's in the back room. Well, this is also untitled. And uh, these little white dots are nice. The punctuation there in the composition. Also untitled. Oops. <laughs> Now something like this, I can almost uh, see a little bit of Arthur Dove, a great American modernist in there. I kind of like the planes that she's working on and some of these. And uh, it's interesting how she contrasts the very uh, kind of chunky, kind of ham-fisted paint strokes. And then she's got some very tight, nice little uh, Articulate brushwork in there. And we'll wrap up looking at this one. Again, untitled. 24 by 16. And, uh, yeah, I like the way she's got these little, oh, I guess maybe that sticks that she's divided the composition with. James Calm reporting on Eugenia Barris of things sooth said and spoken. Here at Stephen Harvey Fine Art Projects, 208 Forsyth Street, and Manhattan's Lower East Side. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you.